Rwanda's recent communication to the United Nations Security Council, UNSC, highlights the nation's concerns regarding potential escalation in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the broader implications it may entail. Expressing reservations about the support extended to the SADC mission in the DRC, Samidarsi, Rwanda emphasizes the necessity of a peaceful resolution to the conflict in the eastern DRC region. This video analyzes Rwanda's stance, its concerns about regional stability, and its call for diplomatic solutions. Through a non-violent tone, it underscores the importance of dialogue and cooperation in resolving complex geopolitical disputes. The Democratic Republic of the Congo has been marred by persistent conflict in its eastern region, fueled by various internal and external factors. Rwanda, a neighboring nation, has been intricately involved in the dynamics of this conflict, both as an accused party and as a stakeholder advocating for stability. Recent communication from Rwanda to the United Nations Security Council underscores the gravity of the situation and the urgent need for diplomatic intervention. In its letter to the UNSC, Rwanda articulates several key concerns regarding the ongoing conflict in the eastern DRC and the involvement of external actors. Foremost among these concerns is the potential for the situation to escalate into a regional war. Rwanda warns that any support provided to Samedirk, particularly by the UNSC, could exacerbate tensions and lead to a broader conflagration involving multiple nations. Central to Rwanda's position is its call for a peaceful solution to the crisis in the eastern DRC. While acknowledging the complexities of the conflict, Rwanda emphasizes the importance of dialogue and negotiation as the most effective means of resolving disputes. The nation asserts that the presence of rebel groups, such as the M23, must be addressed through diplomatic channels, rather than military intervention, to prevent further bloodshed and instability. Rwanda's stance is also shaped by its denial of accusations, linking it to rebel groups operating in the DRC. Despite allegations by the UN and human rights reports, Rwanda maintains its innocence and advocates for an impartial investigation to ascertain the truth. The nation underscores the need for evidence-based decision-making, rather than relying on unsubstantiated claims that could exacerbate tensions. The prospect of a regional war looms large in Rwanda's communication to the UNSC. The nation highlights the potential consequences of such a scenario, including the formation of a coalition led by South Africa and involving countries like the DRC, Malawi, and Tanzania. This escalation could have far-reaching implications for regional stability and development, underscoring the urgency of preventive measures. Moreover, Rwanda expresses concern about the inclusion of Burundi in the conflict due to its alliance with the DRC against perceived Rwandan interests. The involvement of additional actors further complicates the situation and increases the risk of spiraling violence. Rwanda asserts its right to undertake defensive measures in response to perceived threats, but reiterates its commitment to peaceful resolution through dialogue and diplomacy. In its communication, Rwanda appeals to the UNSC to refrain from providing logistical and operational support to Samidars, citing concerns about neutrality and impartiality. The nation urges the UNSC to instead encourage the DRC government to pursue peaceful solutions within existing frameworks, such as the Luanda and Nairobi processes. Rwanda emphasizes the importance of international cooperation in addressing the root causes of the conflict and fostering sustainable peace. The UNSC's upcoming decision regarding support for Samidur C carries significant implications for the trajectory of the conflict in the eastern DRC. Rwanda's apprehensions about the UNSC's role reflect broader concerns about the international community's approach to resolving the crisis. The nation underscores the importance of considering all stakeholders' perspectives and prioritizing diplomatic solutions over military intervention. Rwanda's communication to the UNSC also draws attention to the root causes of the conflict in the eastern DRC, including the presence of rebel groups and historical grievances. The nation accuses the DRC government of supporting rebel forces and perpetuating instability through its refusal to address genuine grievances, particularly those of Congolese Rwanda phones. Furthermore, Rwanda highlights the role of external actors, such as Burundi, in exacerbating tensions and pursuing their geopolitical interests at the expense of regional stability. The nation calls for concerted efforts to address these underlying issues through dialogue, reconciliation, and inclusive governance structures. By tackling root causes, 
Rwanda believes it is possible to build a foundation for long-term peace and stability in the region. Rwanda's communication to the UNSC reflects its deep concerns about the escalating conflict in the eastern DRC and the potential for regional destabilization. Through a non-violent tone, Rwanda emphasizes the importance of pursuing peaceful solutions, dialogue, and cooperation among all stakeholders. The nation calls on the international community, particularly the UNSC, to play a constructive role in de-escalating tensions and addressing the root causes of the conflict. By prioritizing diplomacy over military intervention, Rwanda believes it is possible to achieve sustainable peace and security in the region, benefiting not only the DRC, but also its neighboring countries and the broader international community. Thanks for watching. If you want to receive more updated videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel.